Hello everyone. So in this video we're going to talk about combinational circuits. Um, this seems to be one of the more challenging concepts within the electrical components of uh, principles of engineering, but it seems a little bit, you know, it, it sh hopefully this will make it a little easier than what you thought. Because if you're watching this video we're going to assume a few things. First off, you've built successfully a simple circuit you've expanded that knowledge, multiplied a couple of LEDs and gotten a simple circuit and then you kind of divided those up and created a parallel circuit and the idea of a combinational circuit is basically we're going to take that last parallel circuit that you created and we're going to just kind of shove a couple of series circuits into that system and um, I don't want to say it's copy and paste simple but that really is kind of what we're doing. We're, we're taking one system and we're going to put it into a second system and uh, this is going to be a commonly used tool when you actually get into electrical engineering and circuit designs or or even if you're just kind of reverse engineering some things that already exist so let's start by reviewing the series and uh, parallel circuit okay? so we flip the switch and both of those series lights turns off we flip a switch down here and the two parallel lights turn on and off if we remove a series circuit, LED, neither one turns on regardless of where that switch is. Okay? We put it back, we're good to go. The parallel circuit, we remove that. Okay? Now one's light is still working, but the other one is not. Okay? So we can, of course, put it back in place, flip the switch back on, and they're both back to working order. So for us to move on to combining these circuits, okay, we're going to start by just copying the parallel circuit. We'll put it up here, okay, kind of uh, to the right. We'll leave a note saying this is our combinational circuit. And literally all we are doing here is we're kind of pushing the circuit over a little bit to turn it into that parallel circuit. So we're going to add two LEDs. And we're just moving things off to the side. Okay. So let's go ahead and just delete these black wires for a moment. We'll of course add them back in place. But we're now putting those series components into this system. Okay. We will start placing our wires. This needs to be shifted over a little bit. So we're just moving it over two spots. And of course, anytime that we copy and paste things within Tinkercad, it's good to kind of make sure your components are still kind of placed where they should be. Um, so at this point, we should be able to flip the switch and we see all four of these lighting up. Okay. Now, a few parts of this are still series. Okay. This switch is in series. We flip that switch on or off and everything turns off. Okay. If we remove the resistor, okay, nothing will turn on or off. But if we remove the first LED, the other two go unaffected. Okay? If we remove the other one, okay, we see the same thing happening. Okay? So this is one parallel branch, this is a second parallel branch, but within each of those parallel branches we simply have a series circuit. The, the two LEDs that are very dependent on the other one to exist and be working for all of the lights to turn on. So hopefully this has given you a bit more understanding of how to go ahead and create the combinational circuits. This does become a little bit more challenging when we get into the actual calculations of the uh, 
combinational circuits uh, using Ohm's law and Kirchhoff's law, but we'll save that information for another video. So again, I hope this helps. Um, if you have further questions, comments, concerns, uh, please leave comments, send me an email, let me know how I can help uh, improve your own education on these ideas.